to hatch be a man wounded by a deputy late last year in what investigators are calling an unjustified shooting says he'll file a lawsuit against the Kern County Sheriff's Office. 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson spoke to him today and joins us now with his story. Brandon. Yeah, Jackie, last week an incident review board ruled that that deputy's actions up in Hatchby, his use of force, were unjustified and outside of policy guidelines. Now today, I spoke with the man who was shot by that deputy, and his story differs quite a bit from the way that KCSO told it. They removed my spleen. They uh, removed parts of my intestine. Stanley Severi says he's a normal working guy, a 34-year-old Tehachapi resident and a father of two. I was in the hospital for five days. I was scared of what was going to happen with me and my future, work and family. All things that he feared he would lose after he was shot in the abdomen on his porch by a Kern County Sheriff's deputy back in December. The stage lane at Tucker Road for a shooting. PD is on scene. On Thursday, an incident review board ruled that the use of force by the deputy, nine-year veteran Gabriel Romo, was not within department policy. Since January 2012, KCSO has been involved in 25 officer-involved shootings. Only two of those have been ruled as not within department policy. Severi shared his side of the story today, saying that he and his wife had called KCSO hoping that they would talk some sense into their son, who had run away. Severi says that Deputy Romo told him there was nothing he could do and then left. Severi says that Romo then returned later that night to, quote, take his daughter and showed him my phone where I, I hadn't been able to get a hold of her. Uh, explained to him again, I need to talk to my wife to figure out what's going on. Uh, he then took a few steps back, pulled his gun, and shot me. But that doesn't match up with what KCSO released about the incident. According to information released by the department just days after the incident, Romo came back the second time because he was called about keeping the peace in the home. Officials go on to say that there was a verbal and then a physical altercation after Romo attempted to detain Severi, and that Severi pulled away and reached towards his waist, something that Severi denies. Not, there's no physical altercation. There, I, there just wasn't. Now, Severi, his wife, and his attorney are looking for one thing. It's called justice. Justice means accountability. It's just scary to know that it could happen to anybody, but at least this time, possibly someone gets held accountable. Now, according to the sheriff's office, Deputy Romo is still employed by KCSO. However, we do not know if it's in the same capacity or not. Meanwhile, Severi and his attorney say that they plan to file a government claim coming up soon. After that, they plan to file a lawsuit against the department if necessary. For now, from Oildale, Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News.